Hey, good morning, Jack. Hey, Merry Christmas, Uncle Al. How's hey, it going? Oh, it's great Christmas morning. Come on. Yeah. You can't you you can't ruin Christmas morning. Well, it's, it's a beautiful I, thing. You, you could. I don't care if it's rainy. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. Christmas is the family. You, you haven't have never treat. had a. You've never had a bad. Never Christmas. had a bad Christmas. Yeah. You eat a lot of crap, but you feel great. So what did you get this year? Um, nothing. Nothing. No, no. I talked to your aunt. We, yeah, we do it very simple. Orange peppermint stick. Right. It's a birth of Christ. You know how I knew what, what, what how Christ figured into Christmas from Ben Hur. That's what I how I learned about really it, from religion from really because Christ. What are you in- homeschooled at a commune? So so you get an orange at a peppermint stick, and so what do I get? I did something special, more than material things. Yeah. Gave my time. Yeah. Uh, I made up a little list of my favorite holiday movies. So uh, p- something written on paper. I'm giving you a piece of me. Okay. Lay it on me. Something what, I like. All right. That, that that has value. You can't drop it. You can't break it. You can't trade it in for an iPad. Right. All right? Um, okay. Here it is. First one up. French Connection. French Connection. That's right. How was that a Christmas movie? Opening scene. Popeye Doyle dressed like Santa. Yeah. Takes down a junkie. Yeah. Yep. Merry, Gets him in for- Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's right. That's that. You, you know what Santa Claus? I'd believe him in in a more if he like fight crime. So these are movies that aren't aren't overt. This is a movie. Let's just. So talk this about. is not like Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Wait, or- it, 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 just let me. I'm. This is a surprise. All right, go lay it on me. Destination Tokyo. <laughs> Des- Car- Destination Tokyo is your is a Christmas movie. Cary Grant. I know Cary Grant. Yeah. All right, you're in World War II. You're on a sub. Who do you want, Commander? I'd like Cary Grant. Yeah. Part one. Part two. He's gonna look good. Yeah. And he's gonna be straight. There he goes. Down for the deep six. And Christmas happens in the movie. Go ahead. Keep going. Stalag 17. Stalag 17. Yeah. Billy Wilder. Prisoner of War movie. POW movie. World War II. I don't know how they, they made it into a comedy. I don't know how they did it. So what about Solid There's this. It's Christmas. And the men decorate the tree with dog tags. They, they, they have to smuggle on a tree past the Nazi guards. Right. They do a hell of a job. Don't forget the corkscrew. Right. Most people don't associate Nazis with Christmas. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Although they did celebrate it. Yeah, who? Nazis? Yeah, they all did. Who? Hitler celebrated Hitler celebrated Christmas? Sure he did. How come there are no home movies of Hitler celebrating Christmas? Like him and Ava drinking eggnog. You think that stuff exists? Uh, you, uh, where, uh, your mind goes there, really? Christmas Day, you were bringing up that guy? Can you imagine though Christmas no, I, Christmas I, with the Hitlers? That's no, a good no, show. I, well, you're See, you're you're ruining my Christmas. Sorry. Night. Christmas morning, all right? Yeah. What about ha, ha, have some eggnog? What? Eggnog. What about we're going to have eggnog, okay. we're going to have candy, that, and you're bringing a bait off Hitler? I'm sorry. You know what, you know what, this remind. you know, I, this reminds me of another movie that isn't uh, thought of as a Christmas movie. Bad Lieutenant. Bad Lieutenant spells out themes of hypocrisy and sexual obsession with the intensity of a nightmare. Just put $120,000 on tomorrow's game. This guy will come by your house and blow your house up with your wife and kids and everybody in it. Well, Bad that- Lieutenant, that's how I met your aunt. It was our first date. You took. I didn't know what it was about. We, you took went, Aunt Susie yeah. to see Bad Lieutenant. Yep. That's worse than me taking that date to see Videodrome. What I I'm telling you. How did she react to, to Harvey Keitel she didn't, she, naked and and all on crack and and, and having a threesome with a guy with a guy and a girl and the whole thing? She didn't bat an eye. Really? Yep. She. she Good and for that's her. when I knew this is the woman I'm going to marry. Come on, give us a break. You do something for me, and I'll do something for you. What do you say about that? So anyway, the, the reason I bring up the bad lieutenant, if you remember, the story is they rape a nun, right? Which is not uh, now. All right, you guys, I do remember. Why do you why do you have to bring it up? It's Christmas morning. Because I know. Uh, yeah, great. Hitler raping a nun. What's wrong with you? You're expecting Keitel to blow those guys away, and instead, what happens at the end? He doesn't. He forgives. He forgives them. He gives them good crack. I, but it wasn't Christmas cr- morning. Uh, we're we're arguing about bad lieutenants. I, I thought this was an open forum for. Well, discussion. open forum. It's Christmas morning. Look at the tree. Yeah. Look at the tree. Look yeah. at the presents. Yeah. Smell well, I don't. That? What does the, the, the pre- ham is cooking? Ham. I don't eat ham. I'm a vegetarian. Uh, just the smell of it. 
I know. I don't want to smell rotting pig. Oh, no, no, no. It's not rotting. You, you smell it right now. It smells good. It just, you don't eat it. So you guys, not only do I have a present, my present is a, is, a, is a list on paper, and I don't have anything to eat. Like, what, are you kidding me? What? We what? got you that new Xbox. Xbox? Yeah, it's all set up in the study. You're kidding. You, no, you can take it home with you. You got me the new Xbox 360? Yep. Does that play Blu-ray? I gave you a pony. It doesn't have a fifth leg. What the, I don't, I don't, it's an Xbox 360. It's the best they have, top of the line. Any games? You can give me a gift next year. Yeah. Yeah, take off that stupid cap. <laughs> I don't know. How about that? Well, I'll, huh? I'll Th work. Just think about it. I'll work on you it. You got a whole year to think about right. it. Right. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. Happy holidays. I'm better than this. Take off that damn cap. J.B. Smoove and Garfield watch Greg Benson's movie review and then debate the true identity of Hollywood's handsomest hero. Philip and his band of Navi take to the Hollywood farmer's market to play their music for Avatar 2. Grey Drake follows up her 50 best movie titles with the 50 worst to ever grace the silver screen. Uncle Al and Jack debate zombie feeding habits, the acting qualities required to play a zombie, and the merit of a zombie flick as a date movie. Ben Lyons gives you the news on Anchorman 2 and Ghostbusters 3, and special guest Josh Horowitz and Exotic Jess stop by. Devin Faraci and his panel of geeks continue their debate about fake geek girls. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.